Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with mono and stereo sends in Reaper. Now, the track in front of me here, it's a simple guitar. Let's hear it. Let's say we want to send this to another track. Let's create one down here. Let's bus it from here on the routing button and just drag it and drop it to this track. Now we're going to hear it from both tracks. But let's first turn it off on this track by turning off the master parent send right here. Now we're only going to hear it on this track. because it's sending from this track to this track. And it's a stereo send by default, which for most situations is exactly what we want. So if we pan the first track to the left, we're still going to hear it in the left speaker through this track. Or if we pan it to the right, we're going to hear it in the right speaker on this track. which again, makes perfect sense. But here's the problem. Let's say we pan the first track to the left, but we pan the second track to the right. Because it's a true stereo send, we're not gonna hear it at all. Because our first track over here, or over here, is only sending to the left, or the first channel. So it's not sending any signal to the right channel. So we pan the second track to the right, there's nothing there. So if we're in a situation where we want to pan the second track, we probably want to use a mono send. Let's go back to a routing on the first track. And right over here, we could switch it from a stereo send to a mono send. Now watch what happens. We still hear it on the right. Even though the original track is panned to the left, we repanned it to the right over here. We put this back on the left, we'll hear it on the left. Or in the center. Because our first track is sending in mono. So we could reapply it on the received track. Now, again, this only matters if we're going to repan the second track, which can happen when we're bussing tracks from individual tracks to buses. So if you're going to pan the bus, either hard left or hard right, you might want to make the sends mono right here. Another very important time this shows up is when we're using effects sends and returns. So let's put this back to stereo, the default, turn back on the master parent send. Let's add an effect to this track here, which is now going to act as a return. We'll start with a simple reverb right here. Let's make it a bit bigger. Turn the dry sound off, the wet sound fully up. Now the guitar is going to play dry from this track, and we're going to hear the reverb from this track. Let's pan the tracks back to the center and bring up our send to add reverb. Again, by default, it's true stereo, which is going to sound fine if the guitar is panned in the middle, as we're going to hear the reverb in stereo on this track. And if we pan the dry guitar to the left, it's going to sound like this. We still hear the reverb, but only in one speaker, where the guitar is. And if you want that, you can leave it this way. And the same thing. If we pan it to the right. We hear the dry guitar and the reverb in the right speaker. But if you want to move the guitar, but not the reverb, and have the effect still be stereo, we should change our send to be mono, right here. So now if we pan this back to the left, 
we still hear the reverb in both speakers, just the guitar itself is in the left speaker, or the right speaker. So if we want that effect, we want to use a mono send. And even more important, if our send is stereo, and we pan the guitar to the left, but our reverb to the right, we're not going to hear the reverb at all, like this. It's completely dry because no signal is being sent to the other speaker. Well, if we put this on the right side with the reverb on the left, once again, we're not going to hear the reverb. So if we want to pan our effects returns, we want to switch this to mono. So it'll sound like this. With the guitar on one speaker and the reverb on the other. Now let's check it out using delay. Let's put these back to the center, put this back to stereo, which is our default, turn off the effect, and let's add a delay instead. I'll use re delay right here. And once again, we'll turn off the dry so it's completely wet on this track. Let's set this to one eighth note, and it sounds like this. Once again, with it panned in the middle, it sounds fine. If we pan it to the left, it sounds like this. With the effect going where it's panned. And again, if you want that, leave it in stereo. But if you want to hear the effect still in the middle, We'll switch this to a mono send, and it'll sound like this. But more importantly, if we want the effect return in the other speaker to the right, if we leave this as stereo, we're not going to hear the effect. Because once again, no signal is sending to the other speaker. So in that situation, we want to use a mono send. So it'll sound like this. Now let's try creating a stereo delay. Let's put this back in the middle. Let's put our send back to be in stereo. Let's go to our delay and pan it to the left. Add another delay and pan that one to the right. Let's make it two eighth notes or a quarter note, and it sounds like this. With the direct sound in the middle and a short delay to the left and a longer delay to the right. So again, if we keep the guitar in the middle, it sounds great. But if we pan it to the left, it sounds like this. And we only hear one delay. We lost the other one. And if we pan it to the other side, we only hear the delay on the right side. which is probably not what we want. So again, in this situation, we should use a mono send right here. Put it back in the middle, and it sounds like this. Notice in the middle, it still sounds the same, but if we pan it to the left, we're gonna get both delays. Pan to the right, same thing. And it still sounds good in the middle. So in this situation, we probably want to use a mono send. Let me show you one other example. 
Let's delete the second delay. Let's put this back in the middle. Put the send back to stereo. So it sounds like this. And let's say we want to automate the panning on the delay. Let's click this, go to the menu, show track envelope. And right down over here, we can see the envelope for our panning. Let's draw in an automation item right here. Let's make it a bar long. Double click it. And let's create a shape, make a square wave. And let's loop it throughout the song. Should be good enough. Now let's hear it. You can see our delay is now panning back and forth. Right here, watch the pan knob. Again, it sounds fine with the guitar in the middle. But again, if we pan it to the left, it sounds like this. We only hear the delay when it's on the same side as our guitar. Look at the level on the effect track. It's turning on and off depending on which side the guitar is in. Pan the guitar to the right, it'll do the opposite. But it's still dry in these sections, and we don't want that. So once again, it's a great time to switch our stereo send to mono, right here. And now it'll sound like this. The delay keeps moving from side to side, no matter where the guitar is panned. If it's on the left, we're still hearing the delay pan back and forth. So as you can see, there's a pretty big difference between stereo and mono sends. And by default, they're gonna be stereo. So when you want this effect, or when you're gonna pan the effect return or bus return, just keep this in mind and switch your send to mono when you need this. So that's pretty much it. That's working with mono versus stereo sends in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks.